Hey, so I wanted to have another little riff on purpose through the lens of the hexagram 27. I just read it with my chai tea this morning and it feels like a really important conversation to have right now. So grab a tea. It's going to be a really quick one today. Um, and if you've missed my previous videos, I've been talking about purpose and I love the idea that purpose is, some, is a quality of consciousness rather than something that we do when we have to figure out and uh, I spent a lot of energy and time in my younger years trying to figure out with my head what my purpose was. I even went to um, ayahuasca ceremonies. I spent time many, many times with the grandmother medicine known as ayahuasca uh, back in 2014 and I would ask, what's my purpose? And I quite strongly heard make videos. And I completely discounted it. I thought, how could me making videos be a purpose? Now, back then, I didn't know about YouTube. There was no Instagram or Facebook. So uh, maybe you can understand me from that point of view that I didn't understand how videos can be a purpose. Now it's kind of obvious. Uh, but the message there is that the thing that comes natural and easy to us is usually our purpose because our purpose the quality of our consciousness is about doing what we love and what lights us up and what inspires us and just following that and the the hexagram 27 the things that really stood out for me are that when we are aligned to our soul when we are in alignment as Gary Zukoff said, and I, and I, uh, this was actually one of my intentions when I'd go to these ceremonies, is I want to align my personality to my soul. So when you're, we are aligned, we are able to receive more chi, more energy from the universe, more vitality. And when we are not aligned and fragmented, we literally constrict the chi, the life force coming into our body. And as the hexagram talks about, we literally aren't even able to receive the nourishment from our food. And a lot of this has to do with our thoughts. You know, people understand positive, positive movement, our thoughts, mindfulness, how we talk to ourselves, the stories we tell ourselves. All these kind of concepts aren't new. Uh, I think we are learning that the positive movement only is not actually healthy. And this hexagram talks about that, that we need to consider our whole selves, not just, not just the higher self, but our lower self as well, and understand how we are keeping uh, different parts of us separate, because that ultimately leads us to being sick. And uh, there's this great example of like, so our thoughts, and I'll use the example of food. If we uh, really own that, you know, the slander on certain foods, like this is bad for us, but then we consume that food anyway, we are consuming bad shame, basically, guilt. Whereas that very same food, if we didn't have that belief about it and we consumed it, our body would receive it in a much more welcoming way. Now, I'm not saying like, you know, go out and, and eat five bags of potato chips. We probably wouldn't feel very good. But if you did eat a bag of potato chips and you did not have the story of like, this is bad for me, I shouldn't be doing this and you're eating it anyway under guilt, uh, it's it's pretty intuitive, you know, what's going on there. And so food aside, just in our own thoughts and our own stories, like if we have any sort of stories about not being good enough or not being worthy or valuable or allowed to be ourselves in any way, then we are we are causing literally dis-ease in our body. We aren't able to receive the nourishment of the chi, of the energy of life force that is all around us and and I think that more and more people more than I think I know more and more people are awakening to this power that we all have inside of us to create our reality with with our thoughts and with our intentions and we are literally seeing the reality shift in massive ways and this is something that I've been so passionate about talking about this jump point in evolution that we are all facing right now this great paradigm shift where we lived in a reality where we gave our power away to outside forces whatever those forces might be and we are reclaiming and remembering where the true power lies 
And so, yeah, we're seeing our reality change in some pretty massive ways. And uh, I like to be here to remind uh, one another that not to buy into the fear the, and the, the distraction and, yeah, just the, the fear that can be pretty loud out there as we navigate uncertain times um, and remind, remind one another that we are powerful and we are co-creating this reality and the more we step into a feeling of purpose simply by doing what we love we are making changes that our mind cannot even comprehend so that's my little message today on hexagram 27 uh, feel free to follow along i'm going to be fo i'm going to be moving through the themes and sharing videos and texts on here on facebook and on my instagram at sarah d flow uh, throughout the whole year Every six days or so, we move into a new theme. The sun moves through this mandala, basically, uh, through, through the stars, through the cosmos, and we are not separate from the cosmos. We are all connected, and we all experience similar energies. The energy right now is really powerful, really powerful for transformation and change and, and uh, just getting really clear on our vision and our intention and we don't have to know how or we don't even really have to be super clear about what it looks like but it's just starting to listen to our heart's desires and daring to follow that see you in the next video